This ancient liquid revives dead soil instantly. No fertilizer needed. If your soil feels like lifeless dust, no matter how much you water or fertilize, listen closely, because in the next few minutes, you'll discover an ancient, forgotten liquid that can revive dead soil almost instantly. No synthetic fertilizer, no expensive soil amendments, just a simple, natural brew that restores the living engine of your garden. Most gardeners think they're planting seeds in soil, but in truth, many are planting in sterile dirt, hard, compacted, and biologically dead. Over decades of chemical agriculture, we've stripped soil of its most crucial component, microbial life. The more we fed plants with synthetic nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, the less we fed the soil itself. The result? Earth that looks rich, but behaves like concrete. It can't absorb water properly, it can't hold nutrients, and it can't support the millions of microorganisms that once made it fertile. Without these unseen allies, bacteria, fungi, protozoa, nematodes, plants struggle to grow, no matter how much fertilizer you dump in. But ancient farmers knew something we've forgotten. Long before microscopes and modern science, they revived exhausted fields using cloudy, bubbling liquids that seemed to bring the soil back to life. These weren't fertilizers, they were microbial tonics, natural brews designed to restore the soil's living community. And today, Soil and Crop Central is bringing that wisdom back to you. Rice Wash the simplest soil resurrection method. It all starts in your kitchen. One of the most powerful soil restorers known to traditional farmers is made using nothing more than uncooked rice and clean water. When rice is rinsed, it releases starches into the water, creating the perfect environment for beneficial lactic acid bacteria, or LAB, to grow. These bacteria are the probiotics of the soil world. To make it, take one cup of uncooked rice and rinse it gently in two to three cups of clean water. Don't overwash. You're not trying to remove every bit of starch, just enough to cloud the water. Pour this milky liquid into a loose lidded container and leave it at room temperature for two to three days. During this short fermentation, naturally occurring LAB multiply rapidly. You'll know it's ready when the liquid turns slightly sour with a faint film forming on top. That's the magic layer, the bacterial community that jumpstarts soil life. Once fermented, dilute one part of this rice wash with 10 parts of clean water. So, if you've made one cup of rice wash, just mix it with 10 cups of water. Apply this diluted liquid directly around your plant's base, soaking the soil. As soon as it enters the ground, those living bacteria begin colonizing the root zone, digesting organic matter, unlocking nutrients, and crowding out harmful pathogens. Within weeks, you'll notice softer, darker soil, stronger seedlings, and improved moisture retention. This isn't a fertilizer, it's a resurrection. For gardeners ready to level up, there's a more advanced ancient tonic known as fermented plant juice, or FPJ. This technique captures the very essence of vigorous plant growth and turns it into a microbial-rich liquid your soil can drink in. Start with one kilogram of fresh, fast-growing plant material. Young comfrey leaves, grass clippings, or even common weeds like nettle work beautifully. Chop the plant material finely and mix it with 500 grams of brown sugar or thick molasses. The sugar draws out plant juices while feeding fermenting microbes that thrive on the blend of enzymes, amino acids, and natural hormones. Pack the mixture tightly into a clean container and cover it with a breathable cloth, something that keeps insects out but allows gases to escape. Let it ferment at room temperature for five to seven days. During this period, beneficial bacteria and wild yeasts transform the mixture into a dark, sweet-smelling liquid teeming with nutrients. Once fermentation is complete, just go ahead and strain out the solids and store the liquid in a sealed jar away from sunlight. When it's time to use, you'll want to dilute one part of this fermented plant juice with, uh, 20 parts of clean water. 
For example, you can mix 250 milliliters of FPJ with 5 liters of water. Pour this dilution as a soil drench or, you know, spray it on leaves during the active growing season. Gardeners using this tonic report faster leaf growth, deeper green coloration, improved drought resistance, and a dramatic increase in earthworm activity. Nature's own soil engineers. In essence, FPJ captures the life force of plants and returns it to the soil in a bioavailable form. It's nature feeding itself. Ah, compost tea, the microbial diversity powerhouse. While rice wash and plant juice introduce specific beneficial microbes, compost tea provides a full symphony of life. It's like the microbial equivalent of repopulating an entire city in your soil overnight. All right, let's get started. Begin with one kilogram of mature, fully decomposed compost. It should be dark, crumbly, and smell like fresh earth, not sour or ammonia-like. Place the compost in a mesh bag or a clean pillowcase, then submerge it in 20 liters of clean, chlorine-free water. Now, here's the key. Microbes need oxygen. Without it, your brew turns anaerobic, producing foul odors and harmful bacteria. To keep it alive, use an aquarium pump with an air stone to bubble air through the liquid continuously for 24 to 36 hours. Add one tablespoon of molasses to the water before aerating. This serves as food for the microbes, encouraging exponential growth. When finished, the compost tea will appear foamy and coffee brown, rich with bacteria, fungi, protozoa, and beneficial nematodes. Use it immediately, undiluted, to drench soil or spray on plant leaves. The microbes in compost tea coat the roots and leaf surfaces, forming protective colonies that outcompete disease-causing organisms. The soil regains balance, and plants begin to thrive without chemical intervention. How these liquids heal the soil? Well, each of these ancient brews, like rice wash, fermented plant juice, and compost tea, works not by feeding the plants directly, but by feeding the soil's living network. As microbial populations expand, they excrete natural substances like glomalin, which bind soil particles into stable aggregates. These aggregates form the crumbly, sponge-like texture every gardener dreams of. Rich soil that absorbs water easily, yet drains well that breathes with oxygen while anchoring roots firmly. Over time, organic matter breaks down into humus, the black carbon-rich substance that stores nutrients and resists erosion for decades. Once this living ecosystem is restored, your soil begins managing itself. Nutrients become available naturally, pests lose their foothold, and water retention improves drastically. Instead of relying on fertilizer after fertilizer, you're building a system that feeds itself season after season. That's the secret ancient farmers understood. Healthy soil doesn't need to be fed. It needs to be alive. The return to living agriculture, well, it's more than just a trend. These simple brews aren't just home remedies. They represent a return to the sustainable practices that nourished civilizations for thousands of years. When you use rice wash, fermented plant juice, or compost tea, you're not just growing healthier crops, you're rebuilding the biological foundation of your soil. And what's even more powerful? Anyone can do it. You don't need machines, labs, or expensive chemicals. Just rice, water, plants, sugar, and a bit of patience. In a few days, you'll have the most potent soil revival tools nature ever created right in your hands. So, whether your garden beds have turned to dust or your potted plants refuse to thrive, these ancient liquids can transform your soil from dead to dynamic. Try one method or combine all three over time, and you'll see your garden evolve season by season. Stronger roots, richer color, higher yields, and soil that keeps getting better, not worse. 
Final word. At Soil and Crop Central, we believe that living soil is the foundation of all sustainable gardening. These ancient methods aren't magic, they're biology in action. Start small, stay consistent, and watch your soil come alive again. If you found this video useful, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with every gardener you know and subscribe to Soil and Crop Central for more proven, natural methods to restore soil, boost crops, and grow the healthiest food possible, without ever touching synthetic fertilizer again.